If you plant a rice field in the winter, it'll grow early and outcompete spring weeds. But on February 16th of this year, it was snowing in San Antonio. The southern states lost billions in crops. For a decade, scientists have been hunting for the genes for cold tolerance. Until we came along, they'd only found three. This March, Avalo turned on its AI. We discovered 32. This is Avalo's polo rice growing in refrigerated conditions. Only a handful of crops, mostly corn and soy, are benefiting from intensive genomics. That's because the price of discovery is too steep. $20 million and two years for every trait. By cutting that to $20,000 over four months, Avalo can develop and adapt any crop, anywhere, for the stresses and needs of the 21st century. And we're working on that future right now. Developing wheat that's resistant to catastrophic fungal outbreaks. Growing rubber from dandelions so we don't have to deforest Southeast Asia. For corporate partners, we're engineering microbes that reduced greenhouse gas emissions from cattle. And we're creating high performance yeasts for the new fermentation bioeconomy. Avalo is different because our algorithm is different. We call it GDIP gene discovery via informationless perturbation. It's an application of our advisor's work, Cynthia Rudin in Interpretable Machine Learning. There's so much we can do. Optimizing the lettuce leaf angle for vertical farms. Wharf coffee that matures years earlier. Mm, I got one. Changing gluten so that people aren't reactive to it. That's good. For plant-based meats, a legume low in bitter terpenoids. Let's do reef corals that are heat and acid tolerant. How do we get farmers everywhere to plant winter cover crops? By making them insanely profitable. Daikon regenerates topsoil but its seeds also produce a special oil that's beloved by the cosmetics industry. 